1. Introduction Recall that predicate logic can be conveniently divided into monadic predicate logic, on the one hand, and polyadic predicate logic, on the other. Whereas the former deals exclusively with one place monadic predicates, the latter deals with all predicates one place, two place, etc. In the present chapter, we turn to quantification in the context of polyadic predicate logic. The reason for being interested in polyadic logic is simple although monadic predicate logic reveals much more logical structure in English sentences than does sentential logic, monadic logic often does not reveal enough logical structure. Consider the following argument. A every freshman is a student slash anyone who respects every student respects every freshman if we symbolize this in monadic logic, we obtain the following. XFXSX every F is S slash XKXLX every K is L the following is the translation scheme FXX is a freshman SXX is a student KXX respects every student LXX respects every freshman the trouble with this analysis, which is the best we can do in monadic predicate logic, is that the resulting argument form is invalid. Yet, the original concrete argument is valid. This means that our analysis of the logical form of A is inadequate. In order to provide an adequate analysis, we need to provide a deeper analysis of the formulas, KXX respects every student LXX respects every freshman These formulas are logically analyzed into the following items Students IY as a student freshman Phi Y as a freshman respects RXYX respects Y every Y for any person Y Thus, the formulas are symbolized as follows KXX respects every student Y Psi RXY for any person Y If Y is a student, then X respects Y LXX respects every freshman Y Phi RXY for any person Y If Y is a freshman then X respects Y thus, the argument form, according to our new analysis is XFXSX slash XY Psi RXY Y Phi RXY This argument form is valid, as we will be able to demonstrate in a later chapter. It is a fairly complex example, so it may not be entirely clear at the moment. Don't worry just yet. The important point right now is to realize that many sentences and arguments have further logical structure whose proper elucidation requires polyadic predicate logic. The example above is fairly complex. In the next section, we start with more basic examples of polyadic quantification.